is Amanda Mantilla from Chicago, Illinois, and I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma is technically pediatric cancer. So I was treated in the children's hospital, even though I was 22. And I was really offended at first because I was like, I'm an adult. <laughs> and then it actually ended up working out because you have private rooms and the children's side, you don't have to share. But like people think like because you're chained to a bed, like somehow you sleep all the time and you're so well rested. And I'm like, I'm hooked up to constant fluids. I have to pee like every hour. They're always, they're coming in every four hours for vitals and this, this and that. And like, you know, the residents, they always want to like round on you in the morning because then they have like their little group huddle. And I start, I start telling my nurses, I was like, don't let them in here. I was like, if it's, you know, if it's not double digits, like if it's not at least 10 a.m., no one's allowed in here. I was like, you can come in here and make sure I'm breathing, but that's it. I was like, don't, don't come in here. Just, I kind of had to establish early on, I was like, I'm an adult, treat me as such. After my first chemo session, I got discharged, I came home here, and my mother, for some reason, thought it was a good idea to invite the entire family over. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. Just every stereotype of it just hit me. So I was like, I want to take a shower. And so my mother had to help me in there. And I couldn't even like raise my arms to wash my own hair. I was like, I just had my port put in. I just, I couldn't. She had to bathe me. She had to wash my hair. And she hasn't needed to do that for me since I was like a little kid. And I did, I just, I was like naked on my shower chair trying to bathe myself and I was like, why is this happening? I was like, what did I do? I was like, why is this happening to me? You just, like you say, you just jump on this roller coaster and you just, you go full speed ahead and you don't really have time to process it. And it hit me and like my whole, there's like 20 odd people here eating pizza. <laughs> I'm in there and I can't even wash my own hair. You don't always see the light at the end of the tunnel. But you have to remember, it's there. It's there, you're going to get there. You take it one day at a time. I have to make it through this day. And tomorrow, even if it's like just this much less pain, it'll be less. You just take each day as it comes.